Hi, in this video I want to show you how to create your own Discord bot powered by AI. This will allow you to ask questions and get human-like responses. We will use Langchain which makes it easier to develop these kind of applications. To host your own Discord bot you first need to create a server. To do this you have to click here on the plus sign to create a new server, then here. And then you can create a new server for a club or community or just for you and friends. Then you click here and click on create. Okay, after creating the server, it should somehow look like this. And we can now create the bot. And after creating the bot, we will invite it to this server here. We now have to create the bot. And you can do this in the Discord developer portal. You will find the link to this portal in the description. To create a new application, click here on new application. And then enter your preferred name for your application. Then click here. Then click on create. And you will now create your new application. Okay, after creating the application, we can now go to the bot tab here on the left. And you should probably see a uh, add new bot button. Click this and after confirming it, your UI will look like this here. Now we have to give the bot some privileges and the most important one is here the message content intent. So otherwise you do not be handle uh, messages. You can also toggle on the others here. And here of course you can also make the bot private or keep it a public bot, whatever you want. After saving the changes, you have now confirmed these intents and we can now uh, create the URL to invite the bot. To do that, we have to click here on the left on OAuth2 and on the URL generator, then click here on bot. And then we have to uh, give the bot permissions. We want to send messages, uh, read messages. This is here on the left. On the bottom here, you will find a generated URL. You have to copy this URL and now invite the bot to your server. So now paste the copied URL into your browser and press enter. And this will generate an invitation for the bot. You can see what the bot is allowed to do and just click on continue and on authorized. Here you can see reading and writing messages. So this works. Click on authorized and now confirm that you are a human. And now you can see that the bot was added to the Discord channel. Here it is. My super bot is, has jumped on the server. Okay, after creating the bot, we now have to get a last piece of information and that is the token. You will find your token for the bot here on the left on bot and then click on reset token, then on yes. This token is needed for security purposes to identify you as the user of the bot. Just copy it and save it on a secure space. I will store the information in a .end file. As you can see, this is VS Code and here is where we write our code. And in this .end file, we create a Discord token and this is the Discord token we want to use. Just copy it here and paste it. And we also need an OpenAI API key. You have to use your own API key here, of course, and then just save it. And now let's write the code. Before we can work with the code, we have to install the packages first with pip install. And we use some dependencies here. They are in the requirements.txt. We have the discord.py. A package with Langchain, with OpenAI, and all we have also ChromaDB, which will be an in-memory vector store where we can store some information. I will store a YouTube.txt file. This is some personal information about my channel, and uh, a user can ask a question about this channel and will get human-like information back. So okay, let's now execute pip install minus r requirements.txt to install our dependencies. And I forgot, I think, one dependency here, which is python minus dot env. We have to install that too to load our environment variables. You can just do it like this, python minus dot env. Okay, after installing that, we can now jump in the bot.py file. And first we import some libraries here or some modules. We import discord, we import the commands module here from Discord this is very important because the commands allows us to ask questions. So we write an exclamation mark and then the name of the command and this will trigger the request to OpenAI. Then we also need some Langchain classes. If you're familiar with Langchain, this should be nothing new. We import some prompt templates, we import splitters for creating our vector database. We uh, take the OpenAI embeddings to create embeddings from the split texts, we import chat OpenAI to make a request to OpenAI, we import loaders and also some uh, formatting classes like human message and the system message. Then we will load the environment variables. After loading the environment variables, we can now uh, instantiate the loader, 
with the youtube.txt file. This will load the documents and we call the load method here and create a list of documents. After creating a list of documents, we want to split the documents into chunks with a chunk size of 300 and a chunk overlap. And then we will just um, split the documents. So we get smaller document sizes here. And after creating the chunks, we will convert these chunks into an embedding with OpenAI embeddings. And then we will create a chroma vector store with the class method from documents. We'll pass in the texts here and also the embeddings. And we just here on the fly convert it into a retriever to after that retrieve documents uh, from the vector store. Okay, after that, we will instantiate an chat OpenAI class with a temperature of zero to get a more predictable behavior. And then we create a prompt template and tell the bot you are a helpful Discord bot that helps users with programming and answers questions about the channel. So very simple. We provide a single variable here, which is the context. And this will be sent to OpenAI with the context. Then we create a prompt template from this uh, string here and pass in the input variable context here. So nothing really special. And from this, we will create a system message prompt template where we pass in the prompt. So we've got a system message prompt here. Okay, after creating everything for the LLM, we can now work with the Discord logic. And first we have to instantiate the intents. We uh, get the default intents first, and then we set the message content intent here to true by accessing here the message content attribute. This is important because otherwise the bot would not be able to handle conversations and not read and write messages. So this has to be done. And then we will instantiate the bot itself we um, set a command prefix. So if we write a, an exclamation mark, then we want to trigger the command. And so we have to use the exclamation mark and then um, the question itself. And we also have to pass the intents to the constructor of the bot class. So now we've got our bot and we can use the command decorator for our bot here to create a command. So if we write exclamation mark and then question, this will now trigger the uh, bot to make a request to OpenAI. And now we can just implement the actual logic to make that kind of request. So we wrap everything in a try except statement and we want to get the relevant documents from the vector store. As you can see, the question method here has got an argument also called question and we pass this to the vector store. So it will retrieve the most similar documents from the vector store. We save that in docs. And then we will format this document. And after that, we will create a, a messages array. So this contains the human message. This is the question from the user here and also the formatted prompt. So we've got a system message and a human message, and this will be sent to OpenAI. We do this by just here calling a chat and we pass in the list of messages. We get back a result from OpenAI and we want to send that back to the user we have an async function, so we can use await here. This result here has got a content attribute and we only send back the content attribute. Okay, that works. And if it doesn't work, then we want to uh, create an exception. So if anything is wrong here, we also want to send something back and not just raise an error. And so we send back, sorry, I was unable to process your question. Okay, one last command we have to write, and this is bot.run. This will start the server and we use the environment variable discord token to start the bot. So now we can just run python bot.py. Here happens nothing. Okay, now we can see the logging started and the bot should be visible now. And as you can see, here is a new user online called superbot app. And if we ask question now, um, how are you? we should now get a response from OpenAI. As you can see now, thank you for asking. As a bot, I don't have feelings, but I'm here to assist you with any programming questions or information you needed. How can I help you today? So that works. And as you can see, the conversation is very much human-like. And I think that's a pretty cool project. And if you think so too, then feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video, of course. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.